Hey Vital MX, I'm back. It's Michael Lindsay. A little bit different role though. I'm here as the team owner and team manager of the FXR Chaparral Honda team. Uh, we are in year two. We had a cool little opportunity before the truck headed out to Tampa to bring it down here to the Elsinore Supercross track, do our race bike break in, do a little bit of media day, and get a time to actually, you know, kind of talk to everybody, chat about the bikes and kind of what we're up to this year. The relationship with Honda, it just it's grown a lot and it just kind of timed out weird. I'll be honest, uh, never in my wildest dreams would I expect the team to be to this size, this level, this early. And I say size, yes, we only have two riders this year, but the amount of technical staff and partners we have involved and the support from Honda increased dramatically. Uh, we, we took the opportunity to step up to do Supercross and Outdoors this year. And uh, like I said, if, if I would have planned this out, I wouldn't expect it to do something like this till maybe year three or four. But uh, sadly with the FCR guys, Factory Connection Racing uh, group going away, uh, there kind of was this opening void. Yes, Honda is doing a factory in-house 250 program with the Lawrences, uh, but there's definitely room to grow with them and, and help slot in, become that satellite program. Yeah, I looked at the opportunities we had on the table. Uh, there was a lot of partners from last year I was really stoked on uh, that we wanted to continue with. And there was a few, I just saw some different doors. One of them was uh, Pirelli. I've always thought with the tires and it's nothing against Dunlop, but uh, you know, you think of if everybody's on the same tire, you're all in the same known quantity, you're all getting the same performance. Um, there's some things I really liked about the Pirelli. Number one is weight. Our tires are really light. We are with the 250s running 120, 80, 19s, and they are lighter than any of our competition's 110s. So we get a lot of extra, you know, uh, surface area off the gate. The guys really like the feel of them. Uh, we get, you know, it's, there was a little bit of advantage there. They do have a different feel to the Dunlop, and I think what's unique for anybody changing tires uh, brands is everybody's been kind of on one tire for years so suspension settings chassis development's been around that so there is a little bit of a learning curve but the product was really good and like I said I just saw an opportunity to get a little bit more support and uh, grow that relationship and try to kind of get out of the rut that everybody else is in in a sense. Work, working with the Enzo guys is awesome. It's it's like coming home. They're family. Uh, I worked for Ross for multiple years. I joked that he's like a second dad to me, and it was just a really cool opportunity to finally be able to link up with them. And with the quality of program we were running, I always knew if I asked Ross to get involved that he'd go all in, and that's what they did. We've got amazing equipment, full kit KYB stuff, uh, a lot of testing time from Ross, a lot of his unique parts that he likes to make, whether it's the, the shock adjuster. Um, the forks were actually on PSF1. We are on air forks because I was with Enzo when we originally switched Star over to them in 2013 and Star's been on them ever since. They are fantastic in Supercross. We do have the opportunity for the guys to test and they both chose to go PSF1 for outdoor or for Supercross. We will reevaluate for outdoors to see what they each want to pick but um, there's a lot of really good advantages to the air forks and also the settings and parts that Ross had developed all that time with Star Racing. We have access to a lot of that knowledge. So we had a short list with Honda just kind of like hey what can we get our hands on? Um, one of the first things I went to him is like hey Hey, Carson's been on the factory break. We'd like to get some more. Um, I'd like to bump Cody up. I, I think it's a cool part, of course. Everybody likes it. <laughs> and in Cody's case, Cody follows the old adage your dad tells you. If you're not on the gas, you better be on the brakes. That kid breaks so freaking hard. He's on steel, steel braided lines, 280 rotors, that brake caliper on the standard caliper he can make one fade so having him on the the works billet one's awesome it was cool for honda to hook us up with some we actually bought a few from jgr too so uh really we didn't go to him with too many requests everything within the engine we kind of had handled on our end there are a few parts we could have asked for but at least for the situation we were in we were really confident what we were doing with chad with xpr and our mapping and our electronic that was cool yt um i'm a, like from my time actually a vital with the the mountain bike side i got into it quite a bit Definitely doesn't show right now, <laughs> work stress, but I love pedaling. Um, I like YT's brand image because I, they're, you know, I don't want to say the word not clean cut, but they're just more of a, a fun brand. I think a lot of their their adage and their advertising and just kind of their marketing fits like Moto Guys. I think the crossover is really cool. Uh, i got a couple of weird ones. I've got a company called Ninjio that's a uh, cybersecurity like awareness company. They do a lot of really cool pieces for big uh, corporate brands and stuff on that side. Motul stepped up quite a bit this year. Uh, it's cool to see them get more involved in off-road in the U.S. because in Europe, they're hugely involved. Of course, the MXGPs with the factory Honda guys, and that's one of the reasons I approached them. I knew the quality of the oil was so good. We went in with a really small deal last year because I, I just wanted to be with the product so bad, and they've been really cool to step up and grow with us. I'm really excited where that relationship been going as well. Okay, my name is Tony Archer. I'm a mechanic for Cody Shock on the FXR Chaparral Honda team. 
Yeah, so we work with Enzo Racing pretty closely. Uh, we switched up to the KYB kit suspension through Enzo, and uh, we went back and forth a little bit between air and spring on the fork, and we ended up on the air fork. So uh, with Cody, like, we just worked hard on trying to find a balance, and we've got the bike into a pretty good spot. Um, working with Enzo, uh, he's got a lot of knowledge with this suspension and with these bikes, so it was pretty easy when we told him what direction we wanted to go in, and... Uh, yeah, I think we're in a good spot heading around one. We'll probably make some changes, but very small ones. Um, with the air, it just seemed uh, breaking into corners, you know, everything like that. It just had a little more hold up in the front. Yeah, for the guys, that just it just makes it an easier transition to go from standing to sitting and entry into the corner and just everything in general just is uh, better. Uh, in the beginning, I think it was more of a rear steer, but uh, we've been working hard with him to kind of get him a little more into the, the roll speed type of thing. He's been a 450 guy for a while, so getting him on the 250 and getting his corners dialed in, he's definitely changed his style completely from when he started. So, yeah, we've got him in a good spot, and like as we change his style, we've had to change the suspension for that as well. So it's been it's been a good process. Uh, more than horsepower, I think just the, the, uh, the delivery is the key part of the motor, um, and that's huge with Chad too. And sometimes the guys are like, oh, well, I want more of this, but we'll kind of steer him in the direction of, you know, hey, it'll be easier to ride and you'll be more consistent and eventually faster if you use the bike with the power the way it's suited right now. And obviously we go back and forth and we give them what they want, and then, you know, we always kind of show them like, hey, see your lap times have gone up because of this or this you know and we kind of make the choice based on that i think for him it's still like pretty fresh so when he gets to test he gets pretty excited just to see the different things and he's really sensitive to things i think just uh not having the history of it it's kind of like how to deliver it to us like what he wants exactly is the hard part for him but he definitely enjoys the testing side of it and learning because he wants to be you know he wants to make himself better on the bike off the bike you know bike setup everything all of the above so it's been good I, I think the way he grew up it was always just like here's a bike and ride it so he hasn't been too picky but I, I do know he prefers like his front brake is touchy like you touch it and it's there like it's it's extremely touchy and he likes a strong front brake. Uh, otherwise, like he's pretty neutral on the setup, bars and levers and everything. And same with like the the shifter and brake pedal. Everything's pretty neutral. Um, standard foot pegs. All the all the stuff is pretty normal. I think the only thing really is just uh, just his front brake. Well, with Pirelli, they uh, they sell what they race. So there's no like spec tire per se. Um, we've just gone back and forth with the different you know the mid hard and mid soft tire between the 110 and 120, and. All the tires are pretty good. It just, you know, obviously with different terrains, we'll change it up a little bit. But uh, yeah, Pirelli's been great. Um, I thought the transition was going to be a little harder for the guys coming off the other tire, but they actually gelled with it pretty quickly and we found all the strengths and weaknesses of them. So honestly, every part of it, man. Um, I can't really say one part in particular. Um, we, we put a lot of hours into these bikes and, and getting them right. So every little piece has to be you know right you know when we go racing and when they ride them for the first time and we try to treat the practice bikes exactly the same so i'd say like the entire bike as a whole I'm, I'm really proud of it you know it came a long way from what it was last year and even since we started it's came a long way and we've been working hard to make it where it is now Hi, my name is Richard Sterling. My rider is Carson Mumford and I work for the FXR Chaparral Motoil Honda team. Uh, with the KYB Enzo Air Fork, uh, Carson really adjusted well to the Air Fork. Jumped on it right away and loved it. Uh, I don't think he got to do much testing on Geico since he was went straight into outdoors. Uh, but coming, coming in this season, he was uh, very happy with the action and we've tested a couple times and got it to his liking and he seems to like it all around. Uh, on race day for the air fork, uh, yes, because uh, your temperature is always changing. Uh, I'm sure we, we haven't been to a Supercross event yet, but in years pr past when I've had air fork, you check it again maybe before the heat race because uh, they adjust. You want to check it as close to temperature that you're going to race as possible. Carson going from the Dunlop to the Pirelli was a, was a gap for him. Uh, did take a little bit of adjusting, but 
uh, with testing and trying various compounds and working with the Pirelli guys, uh, you know, with anything that we ever needed. Uh, he, we found a comfortable setting and uh, seems to be okay. So Carson with the with the engine package, I think uh, every 250 guy, maybe besides a couple guys, you know, you throw everything at it. With Chad, he's very good with mapping and making it very smooth and connected and uh, we've found that smoother is better especially for a rookie um, so I, I have it geared maybe a little bit different from other people just to give them a little bit more of a smoothness and uh, obviously likes to hit wants it to come out hot be able to do all the obstacles but also have the over rev to when he clicks up to third and rhythms and stay low and things like that so uh, just all around power is he's been very happy with it uh, the recluse clutch is amazing it's always connected never slips uh, so those have been big things on for the program for this year. The gearing is 1349. I mean, it's it's hard to miss that factory front caliper. Uh, I mean, uh, Honda was gracious enough to let us, uh, you know, into those couple of those parts that that they have uh, that he also used at Geico. So the factory Nissan uh, caliper is is probably the best thing on the bike. <laughs>